This is Dr. Trey, and at the request of one of our classmates, I am showing you an example of a task analysis. This happens to be a topic analysis, which is probably the most common task analysis used um, in, in, in general, um, especially in, in, our, in this particular class and among our classmates. So I'm just gonna walk through a little bit uh, and tell you, this is an, exem an exemplar project. Um, um, this person who wrote the project was doing, um, a topic was about um, high impact teaching and learning practices and for, co for uh, higher education. And um, what, what she did was um, she wanted to teach, uh, teach teachers, basically train instructors, higher education instructors to use um, or, you know, teach them about high impact teaching and learning practices. So this is her task analysis. And as you can see, she discusses the, the content type here right at the top, attitudes and facts. Um, she chose the task, uh, task analysis technique, topic analysis as the technique. Um, and I think that that is appropriate for this. Um, she writes down, and basically a topic analysis is really just an outline of the different um, pieces that are in the plan to be covered in your instruction. So she breaks it down um, into topics and subtopics down to the smallest uh, <laughs> the smallest subtopic. So this is a topic and then critical thinking and then she defines that. Um, she adds enough detail for each one of these different subtopics to give um, an idea of what information needs to be imparted to the learners via the instruction. And it's just a simple outline. Um, when you're doing a, t a topic analysis, it's usually just a simple outline. Um, and as you can see, um, my mouse is acting wonky. Um, she carries on here just a bit. And hers is a little, a little bit longer than normal, but not that much. Maybe if you look at the entire thing, it's probably a page and a half or so, maybe a page and three quarters or so. Um, and then she cites sources that she used to inform um, her information, which is always a good practice. Um, and then states the learning objectives um, and then fills in what she thinks are the challenges and benefits. And as you can see, she has four very simply stated um, learning objectives for um, that are derived from... Um, from her uh, task analysis. And so the thing about it is, you know, um, this described the value of high impact practices. Um, you know, it, it's, it's covered in here. She talks about it in here, <laughs> you know, um, she talks about that in here. Um, you know, uh, what student behaviors are induced by high impact practices. So just looking at this right here, will let, you know, you can derive, you know, these different um, benefits of using high impact practices. One of her um, objectives is um, identify 11 types. You know, here are those types right here. You see what I mean? So um, using her task analysis, and then again, here's the advantages. Um, and um, her objectives are um, related here. It describe the value and their benefits. So um, so you can see kind of a, a, a link between what she put in her task analysis and um, the the four objectives that she derived from conducting the analysis. Keep in mind that the analysis is really just to get you to really drill down into the key information that all of the key information that you want to cover. And what people usually figure out when they do a task analysis is that they're probably trying to cover too much, uh, more than what is can be reasonably uh, mastered by the student. Um, so we want to take the focus. The idea behind this is to take the focus off, you know, how much can I cover um, and put it on how much can the student actually master and learn and process in the time that I have to conduct the instruction. The task analysis help, helps you to identify and illuminate that so that you won't be trying to cram too much information into your instructional module, right? Um, so I hope this helps. 
um, with folks who are having a little bit of trouble with task analysis. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks so much for watching.